Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video series. This one is going to be on the ReadyMaker software. Uh, it's a free software and it's for game design. And uh, it's very beginner software that you can use in order to create, you know, 2D side scrollers or really any kind of game that you're looking to make. Um, and it's not as daunting as something like Unity because Unity is uh, industry standard software. Uh, it's very professional grade. Um, but there's a lot of coding involved and a lot of, you know, diff difficult aspects. And even the software is kind of daunting looking as well. Um, but this is a great beginner step to, to move up to that Unity software. And I wanted to drop a line, um, you know, we're going to do the Space Chicken tutorial, but I want to drop a line to Mark over at ReadyMaker because he made such a great series that it kind of inspired me to bring it into my classroom, um, to use it with my students. And also I want to kind of pull some things out and put some things in, you know, that I think that will work a little bit better for our students here. Um, and hopefully you guys will follow along and, and you'll like using Ready. Um, so here we go. If you go to this website, it's uh, GetReady.com. I'm sorry, GetReady.io. And you'll get to this page right here. And it's free download, so you can go up to download right here. You're going to choose what platform you're on. You can do it on a phone, an iPad. Um, we're going to do it on Windows. And, you know, you'll get that file. It's a .exe file. You download that. And then you're ready to go. So you open up the software. And you get an interface that looks something like this. All right, this is my projects. A couple different things that are just past projects that I've been working on. They're all pretty much the same thing right now. Um, but I'd like to go in and try new things that I would like to to actually try in this tutorial, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the plus here. You're gonna click on portrait and hit start. And we're gonna start a portrait drawing here. And the first video here is gonna be pretty easy. All we're gonna do is we're gonna get our character in. And actually, you know what? Before I even show you that, let me show you what the completed game looks like before we make it. I think that's a lot easier. Um, so I'm gonna go to Space Chicken here. I think this is the one. So you'll see that there are some menus. We can see that there's um, the AWSD keys for moving your character around. There's a score, um, you know, for how many lasers you have. So it'll say basically if I click on this, you know, welcome to Space Chicken, it'll say how to play. And then you click again and that's the start. And you can see that as I move the, my WASD, I can go around and collect these blue feathers. You can see the asteroids are kind of coming at you. You don't want to hit those because you die. Um, and you also want to collect as many of these blue little feathers as you can because you can use this button over here Let me get that one to shoot lasers So after you get three or four lasers you get the end boss guy He sends out some bombs that you don't want to get hit by but you know once you hit him a couple times Oops see game over. I got hit by the uh, the nuclear bomb or whatever it is. All right So that's pretty much it game over and then it would start again. All right, so let's close this one and let's go back to, let's see if I can get out of here. All right, let's go back to a new one. We're going to do portrait, and that's what we're going to make. So let's hit start. And the first video here is just going to be making the character, okay, the actual space chicken himself. So uh, a little bit about this software here. You just have very basic controls. If you want to undo something or redo something, if you want to zoom in or out, um, this brings you to a knowledge base on the Internet if you have any questions or anything about coding or anything like that. Uh, this is for playing your game and you have adding things like adding your assets or your artwork or whatever you have um, and then this is for the actual coding and then this is for uh, naming your file and saving it and, and exiting and stuff like that all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the plus here and for this entire project mark has it set up where you can just type sc space and that gives you all the things that come along with uh, Space Chicken, okay? So we're going to take one of our characters here. It doesn't matter which one. You're going to click and hold on that character. And then you're going to bring him into the drawing, okay? Or into our actual game. Um, our game itself, the, the boards when we're done will be all around the screen. Because this is our actual play area. But you'll have some of our coding and some of our characters and things like that in the menus out on the outside. So what I'll do is I'll select my character. Um, you can see that there are basic controls on here. I can move this character and change the size of him. I can move him by grabbing this. I can rotate him. Um, I could send him to back or bring him forward if there were other objects in the drawing. I could also trash can him. Okay, so I'll bring him back in again. 
First thing we're going to do is we're going to select on our character. We're going to go to appearance, and you can see that there are all kinds of things in here for appearance um, that we want to make sure you know we, we kind of understand a little bit. So uh, first thing is we're going to change his size. Okay, I think his size is a little bit too big for this drawing. Uh, we're going to make that be 0.4, or you actually have to put a zero in front of that. 0 0.4 by 0 0.4, which is a pretty good size for this work. Um, next thing you're going to do on appearance is you're going to turn off solid. We don't want him to be solid. He will bounce into things later on, but that'll be based on our coding, um, if anything else. Um, in order to, so right now, if I were to just click on this, let me see if I missed anything first. Um, can't see the bottom because my camera's in the way. Yeah, I think we're good right there. Okay, so, um, and also you could change like the position of him on the screen. You could rotate him and, and do all kinds of other fun things. Okay, um, so the first thing is if I click off here and I hit play, it's just going to show your character and the game board. And, you know, we can't really move him yet or, or do anything with him yet. So we're going to hit pause here. We're going to click back on our character and we're going to go to behavior and we're going to add a new behavior. Okay, so if we hit add behavior, it'll bring up um, up here is my, still my search. I'm going to clear that search out and you'll see that I have all these behaviors that I can add. If I add control pad, so if I click and hold on that and I bring it over to here where it says drag new behavior, what I'll have now if I click off and hit play is I'll be able to use my arrows in order to move the character around. But you'll notice that this is supposed to be uh, like space, okay? So this doesn't look very space-ish because he just kind of stops in space as you let go of the keys, okay? So we got a couple more things we got to do in order to make our character a little bit more fluid and make it seem like he's actually flying through space, okay? Um, so clicking on your character again, if we go to uh, the physics that we want to turn on, so if you go, not this one yet, but if you go to behavior, we can turn on physics, uh, which is right here, and what that's going to do, we'll close out and hit play again. You'll see that he starts flying around now, and it's very hard to control him now. He wants to just fly off screen, but he does glide a lot better, so we do want physics on. Um, there is another set of physics. If we go to like the real physics, we'll call it, uh, you want to turn that to active, and you'll see that now my player drops. Okay, so if that's happening, what's going on is that you don't have gravity turned off. So if we click on our character, if we go back to behavior again, I'm sorry, go back to physics and turn off gravity. You'll now see that our character is doing something similar to what he did before. We didn't really change anything yet, but it gives us the ability to change something like the drag. Okay, so the drag is how much he's getting held up in space. And then when you let go of the key, he kind of just stops a little bit after, you know, you know, a, a pause like after he drags. So we'll see. I set that to 10. Um, but if you hit play, you can see that he kind of scoots around now a little bit better. Okay. So that's pretty good. We can move up and down, left and right, okay? Uh, these are touch pads in here that you can use like on your iPad or on your phone if you don't want to use the keyboard. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Our character's all set. Um, let's see, that's for... Oh, we actually have one more thing. So see how when we hit play, he actually runs off screen. So we don't want that to happen. We want him to bump into the walls and actually just stop at the walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on him we're going to go to behavior and we're going to add another behavior. So add behavior. And in here, you'll see there is a... So if you scroll down on the mouse to see more options, you'll see stay in frame. You grab that, hold on to it, and drop it in here. And then it's going to ask for padding. So before I do that, if I hit play, you'll see that he now stops at the walls, but he kind of bounces right into the wall and, and, and almost stays there. Okay. So we want to create some padding around our actual game board. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to behavior. Uh, this is the stay in frame behavior. We're going to change padding to about 30 points or 30 pixels. And then you'll see now when I go to hit play that he does bounce a little bit better off these walls. And he comes back into frame um, and he doesn't get you know stuck outside. Okay, so that's it for the character. Um, our space chicken is ready to move around. Later on, you know, in the next video, we're going to add the background. Um, we got to do like shooting the lasers, having the asteroid and the colliders and different things like that. So this is the first one. It's only about nine minutes long, and I hope to see you guys in the other ones. All right, thanks for following, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right?